getting to the bottom of the Roebling problem is this is something you don't see all the time requires going to the top of the North Tower. They'll be up there all over the tower uh, for the next three days to see if there's any more loose stone to remove. Crews could make circus delay performers nervous. They're working 80 feet above the bridge deck. So they got some cats up on a scaffolding up there, way up in the air. How would you like that ride? <laughs> Not for me, but I'm sure some people would like it. I'm a little afraid of heights. You need to see the view. Chunks of rock started to fall from the tower in April. The bridge was closed to traffic. Because it's an historic landmark, special steps needed to be taken to preserve it, making repairs more challenging. These pictures from crews on the bridge show where they're looking for pieces of rock. 150 years this bridge has been going, and once in a while it needs a little extra work. Yes. Yeah, 152 years. Nancy Wood with the Kentucky Department of Transportation says the temporary fix will be installing a net as a safety backup. It'll help catch any any more potential loose stone from falling. The crews will be working from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m., so there will be periodic closures even of both walkways for the next few days as they attempt to fix the stones on the city's rock star. Now, because this is such an historic uh, bridge, they can't anchor anything to it. They can't drill anything into it. So they're left with this giant hairnet, basically. Uh, and so they tried to figure out how to anchor that. So they're going to squeeze that in there. That's how they secure it. Now, they hope to have all of this done by the end of July and open this up. But that's just temporary. They'll do the permanent fixes. That's going to come up next spring. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5.